Bristol beekeepers sell honey in bulk containers to honey packers for packaging, distribution and marketing, domestic and overseas markets. When the honey arrives at the factory, it's graded by colour as consumers prefer a lighter coloured honey. Therefore, lighter honey returns the beekeeper a higher price. Export honey is sold by colour and domestic honey is blended, often according to its colour. Honey packers also store honey according to floral variety to be sold as that type, or it can be used in a blend to give it a distinct flavour. When the honey is required, it's warmed so that it's easy to pour, and this heating also melts any candy crystals. The honey then passes through a cleaning process. The clean honey is pumped into large holding tanks. These tanks may contain floral variety honey or blended honey. In Australia, many species of flora only yield surplus honey every three or four years, therefore supplies are limited. Throughout the world, including Australia, it's common for honey packers to blend honey. Honey is blended according to its flavour, density and colour. Australian honey is seen in a very good light. In fact, it's, it's regarded really as the number one product around the world. They say that our uh, climatic conditions, our, our purity of air, the, the fact that we don't have residues, is at the forefront of the honey industry in the world. When, you, when looking at the world market, the, the overseas countries are not as used to the eucalypt flavour that's so desired by Australian consumers. But when they actually have a chance to taste some of the, the wonders of Australian honeys, they find that their prejudices are more along the idea that they think it's going to smell like a eucalyptus oil. And they, they find that the honey is quite suitable to their taste buds. But they are more into the ground flora type. So they find that honeys like Salvation Jane, Clover, Lucerne, uh, St Barnaby's Thistle, are all readily acceptable to their taste buds, even canola. They, they're quite used to those honeys. So what we do when we're preparing blends uh, for the premium markets overseas is we will combine those types of honeys with our quality eucalypts and present them with a unique honey which is very appealing to their taste buds. We produce uh, large amounts of Jarrah honey, red gum honey, uh, wandu, mary, uh, to name but a few. From the bulk tanks, the honey is pumped into the filling machines. These machines fill jars or plastic containers with the correct weight of honey. An inline capping machine places and then tightens the lids on the jars or containers. Tamper-proof sealing is then carried out. This assures the consumer that the container was not opened after leaving the factory. The source code and packing date are printed on the lid of each container. Labels are then affixed to each filled container. The jars or containers are then packed in cardboard cartons for distribution. Larger quantities of honey are placed